Downloading Installers You can download the installers and databases in WiseScreener website. For the meantime, we will access the installers in WiseScreener FB Users Group. Join the group if you want to use WiseScreener. The FB Group is our current community group to access systems technical support. You can post your technical issues there or find similar topics with resolution. We also post topics on enhancements, plans and anything related to WiseScreener. You can also post questions, comments and suggestions. We make it sure that everything will be answered or be heard. Join the group to start using WiseScreener for free. Please like and follow our FB page too. You can also visit us at www.wisescreener.com. After joining the group, you can access all files including installers and important topics in announcements section. Make sure you read and understood additional instructions that may be needed in installing and setting up WiseScreener. Download all needed files and put them in a folder. Let's start now on downloading WiseScreener files. Open your internet browser and browse to the links provided in the FB group. Download the installer with installer9.zip file name. Please note that installer9.zip may be replaced with installer10.zip or installer11.zip and so on for new releases and updates later on. If you have no existing WiseScreener before or you want to replace your database with updated one, download also the WiseScreener SQLite database. This has WiseSQLite.db3 file name. You should have two files saved in your computer now. Let's now proceed to installation. But before that, I assume your computer is able to run WiseScreener. You should have Windows 7, Windows 8, or Windows 10 operating system. Your computer must have a faster disk with enough free space, SSD disks are preferred. It should have also a multi-core processor to maximize multi-threading calculations in WiseScreener, and a computer memory of at least 8 gig is recommended. If you have all these specifications, we can now start installation. Right-click installer9.zip then click Extract All. Set the location of the files then click Extract. Files should be extracted to the selected folder. Open Installer9 folder and double-click Setup.exe. Click Install and wait for the setup to complete. After successful installation, your Wise Screener startup window should open. The next part after installation is configuration. Click Select Database, then select the first blank connection item in the list and click Edit. If you are already using Wise Screener with an updated database, you can skip this process and proceed to your usual activity of screening using Wise Screener. Please note that Wise Screener can support two types of databases. SQLite, for non-technical users or those users who don't want complications, and MySQL Server, if you want to put your data to a proper database server. You must be familiar with it and can set up MySQL Server, since we will not be going to discuss here further about MySQL. In this guide, we will use SQLite database. On type, select SQLite and type any name you want. Example, first WS database. This name will be your reference later if you add more databases in WiseScreener. Click Browse, then locate where you place the downloaded WISE SQLite.db3 file. In this guide we place them in CWISE Screener DB then Test Folder. Select WISE SQLite.db3 and then click Open. The path to the location of the database will reflect in the window. Click Save. You should back to the connection window with our recently added databases now in the list. If you have gone this far without problems, congratulations, WISE Screener is successfully set up. We will now open Wise Screener. Select the connection profile we just added in the list and click Load. Wait until Wise Screener is opened. Please note that you can change the application window theme of Wise Screener that will fit your personal preferences. Just click View, then in Appearance Group, expand the options. Select any of them that you like. The one I am using now is Dark Room. Our default database has no strategies loaded. You can add your own strategy and configuration window as long as it can be supported with the default indicators. However, you can still load those trading strategies added in WiseScreener before. WiseScreener 1.1 has the following default indicators. ALMA, Moving Average Convergence Divergence or MACD, Simple Moving Average for Volume, 3RSI, Commodity Channel Index, 
three simple moving averages which two of them has an envelope setting, three exponential moving averages which two of them also has an envelope setting. With these indicators, you can add these strategies. Alma and Emma filters. I posted about this on the FB group. MA and 2 RSI are known as MAR-C. A strategy you can learn from Candlestick Trader. Get more information about this on their YouTube channel. Just search MAR-C or Candlestick Trader. Alma and MACD, Alma and RSI, and MACD and EMMA envelope. These are the famous strategies used in Traders Lounge FB Group. Swag. This is from Traders Empire FB Group. The famous alignment of the stars or AOTS which is popularized by Zfreaks. But you need a larger data sets of at least maybe 2 years for the 100 period moving averages used in this strategy. MA and EMMA combination. RSI momentum. And many more. We will load three strategies in Wise Screener by using the configuration file. You can modify it later to suit your trading requirements. Download the configuration file also found in the announcement section of the FB group. On your Wise Screener, go to configuration section. Click load configurations file. Browse to the downloaded configuration file. Click OK. All indicator settings and conditions for the loaded strategies should be there. Check and verify the settings and conditions. If you have nothing to add or modify, click Save. Go to Analysis in Navigation pane then click Stock Analysis. Click Recalculate All. We recalculate everything since we made changes to the configurations. This is needed so that changes to conditions and parameters will reflect on your database. Recalculations also happen automatically every time you import new PSE data. So, you don't need to do recalculations after importing new end-of-day data. At this time, you are now ready to use Wise Screener. Good luck on your trading. We hope Wise Screener can help your trading plans. Remember, a stock screener is a tool that investors and traders can use to filter stocks based on user-defined metrics. It is not a fortune-telling machine or system. Screen stocks today so you can get selections for the next day trading. During that day, use charting tools and your personal convictions to buy and sell stocks. At the end of the day, Wise Screener is just a little part of your whole trading plan. I hope this short video helps you get started with Wise Screener. Let's make trading by technical analysis simpler to everyone. Support Wise Screener. Thank you for watching.